Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Learn to Fly video. This is going to be my seventh circuit at Wellsbourne Mountford EGBW doing the 1-8 right hand circuit. So let's just start by turning off my yoke so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm really going to try focus here, take all the feedback that's been given in the comments and see if I can do a really good circuit. So I'm going to talk less and concentrate more. Uh, first things first, let's just open that shut off valve and put on my beacon um now just double check everything else is okay so engage all of those bring the throttle back flaps are okay um everything else is off beacon is on that's fine let's just adjust the altimeter accordingly right almost ready to start the engine so I'm not going to turn the alt on because I should turn that on after the engine started. So let's just put the battery on. The battery is coming on. Everything's charging up okay. Have a look around. Make sure nobody is nearby. And get ready to start the propeller. So clear prop. Propeller is on. You can now turn the alt on. Make sure that's just jumps a bit it does that's good so let's turn our radios on and I'm gonna set the transponder just to stand by for the taxi and I'm gonna try and do it by the book so I put it to alt when I get to the holding point waiting to take off um, right everything is looking okay fuels fine T's and P's are okay suction is getting into the green that's all fine, I think. Right, so let's do my call outs now to ATC. Wellsbourne traffic, this is Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima, type Cessna 152, parked at the South Warwickshire Flying School. Intention to taxi to holding point Alpha 18 for runway 18 right hand circuit. Right, so I've told everyone my intention, so let's put my taxi lights on. Keep my beacon on, everything else is off, that's fine, flaps are up. Right, let's take the parking brake off. And then let's throttle up gently just to start moving so I don't take off too quickly off the grass and flick dirt everywhere. So just enough to get rolling. And then I'll go and do my free flight checks up by the holding point. Let's get off, bring that throttle all the way back. And as there's no wind, I'll just turn to the runway. So let's slow down just a bit. What about here will do? Right, park up here. Let's do the pre-flight checks. So throttle to 1700. There we go. Carb out. We get our dip, carb in. Mags to R, Mags to both, Mags to L, Mags to both, that's all fine, bring the throttle back, just double check, everything works. Like it should, as that's a simulator. Right, that's all fine. Throttle back, let's get to that holding point now. So, parking brake off. Full left rudder. Throttle up slightly. Just roll up gently to the holding point okay there we go right brakes on let's announce 
Wellsbourne Traffic Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima, at Holding Point Alpha for runway 18, ready to departure to remain in runway 18 for right hand circuit. So now I'm doing my intentions, flaps are up, that's fine, mixture is full, that's fine. Taxi lights can go off, nav, strobe, and I'll put the landing lights on as well. And I need to set my transponder to alt. There we go. So now I've given that intention, I'm just going to announce that I'm lining up onto the runway just to let anybody else know in the area. Wasborn traffic. This is Golf, Juliet, November, Papa, Lima. Now lining up on runway 182. Take off and remain in circuit. So everything should be okay. I've got all the relevant lights on. Everything is set correctly. So let's get up onto the runway now. Then I'll stop and I'll do my final call before taking off. Then I need to make sure I do my takeoff checks as well. Right. Here we go. Right. Flaps up, fine. Yep, everything's okay. Let's get ready to go. Wasborn Traffic, Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima, on runway 18, taking off to remain in 18 right hand circuit. So let's throttle up. Rotate. Right, positive rate of climb. Flaps are off. Engines all looking okay. Suction is in the green. Just need to trim my ailerons. Everything's looking good. Lights are on as according. Now I need to remember to do my final call as well. Get it into my head to do my final call and my final checks. And make sure I'm doing this course at 90 knots. Shouldn't be going over 90 knots in this circuit. Let's start our first turn. that turn right roll out onto a west heading and watch my speed now because I'm at 90 I get a bit higher right let's hold that and let's do our next turn to the downward, watch that altitude. Keep my on that altitude, it's creeping up. And my speed is creeping up. Right, let's roll out, try and get back down to 90. Okay, hold this. Right, let's do our downwind leg checks. Gears are down. Flaps are off. T's and P's are all looking okay. Seat belt, doors, everything like that is okay. Right, let's try and trim for this. Right, when I get aligned with the runway, I'll do my downwind leg 
core lever. Just dropping too much. I need a bit more thrust. More power, there we go. Right. Wellsborn traffic, this is Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima, on downwind leg for full stop landing on runway 18. Gotta get that height back in. Then when I get round the top of Hampton Lucy, I'll do my turn onto base. There's Hampton Lucy coming in there. Bit slow, I need to speed up a bit. Right, Hampton Lucy's just underneath me now to my right. So, turning on to base, drop down to 1500 RPM. Start this turn, there's Hampton Lucy. Stick a stage of flaps in here. Try and bleed as much as possible. Right, I'm on base. Don't forget the final call. Right, let's turn onto final. Hopefully I'm not going to overshoot. It's taking a lot of flaps. Wellsborn traffic, this is Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima on final for full stop landing at runway 18. Too fast here. Try and sort my height out. I'm also a bit high, but not sure if it's best to be high and not splat. On a lot of flaps now. Go the speed. And I'm down. Right. Did I do everything well? Still got some calls to do. The approach could still do with some improvement. Right, we're going to exit at runway 23. Wellsborn traffic, Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima, exiting runway 1A onto runway 23. Wellsborn traffic, Golf Juliet, November Papa Lima, runway 18 vacated, taxi to parking at the South Warwickshire Flying School. Let's bring our flaps back up, put our taxi lights on, turn our landing light off, turn our nav and our strobe off, and we'll set our transponder back to standby, and we'll take a nice relaxing taxi now back to the northwest parking at South Warwickshire Flying School and on the way past I'll show a couple more additions to the scenery this is the latest version of the scenery I've added in uh, a couple of these hangars over here which are more custom to the airport as opposed to just using the generic scenery that you can get there's a noise abatement sign that's just over there and I can't find any photos of it, so if anyone does have a photo of the noise abatement sign, then I can add it in. I've got the one here telling you about the, the helicopters. 
But I like all those little extra details, just adding all the signs and that. I think it just adds a little extra bit of realism to it. So that, yeah, there's a sign here just next to the uh, holding point sign that tells you this is a helicopter area. I've also just done a few more things with the fuel area as well. Um, just added a f few more things to make it look a little bit more like the actual area at Wellsbourne Mountford. So as we approach these hangars just on the left now, these are now custom hangars. We've also dirtied up the textures a little bit on these cabins um, as they looked a little bit clean before. And they're quite old, rundown-esque cabins, so I've just dirtied them up a bit. It looks a little bit more realistic. Yeah, we've got these new hangars here now, which are actually modelled on the ones that are at Wellsbourne Mountford. Next thing I'm going to try and tackle is these buildings at the Wartime Museum. Um, these are all just generic buildings and the buildings don't actually look like that. So hopefully I can get that sorted soon. Haven't changed the cones yet. I've also fixed this door popping on this uh, hanger up ahead next to the tents. It should be far enough away now for the low res model, so you shouldn't see those doors pop into view now. They sh you should be far enough away for them to load in for you not to notice now. Especially in high and ultra anyway. So I feel that went pretty well. As I say, I could still do the approach better. I think I was a bit too high and it took me a little bit of time to kind of like get on the ride, glide path down. Um, I feel like I made all the, the right ATC calls now. I really drummed it into my head to know what to say when. Um, I'm sure I'll watch this back and realise I've done something, I've missed something, but it's all Obviously, the part of learning is you uh, watch back, see what mistakes you made, and then try not to make them again. So if anyone does notice any mistakes, you know, please feel free to be as brutally honest as you can. Um, it really does help me. Right, let's pull onto here nice and slow, and then I'll do the shutdown procedures. There we go, we've stopped. So we can turn our taxi lights off. We can turn our transponder to off. We can turn our radios off. Because we are now not going anywhere. Um, and before I turn off, I'm just going to rev the engine up to 1700 just to clear anything out of the engine. I feel like I'd put the car peat in, but apparently I hadn't. There's something I must have missed out. I thought I'd pushed it in when I was bringing my flaps up, but clearly forgot. Right, let's run this at 1700. And I'm just going to bring it back to idle. And now I'm going to bring the mixture down to fully lean to cut the engine out. Should have turned the alt off before doing that, but I don't think it matters too much. So I'm just going to turn the alt off now. And then I'm going to turn the key to the off position. And then we can turn our beacon off. Shut up, you'll shut off valve, and then I'll turn the battery off. And there we go, completely cold now at the parking. 
think I did pretty well this time, but as I say, please give me any comments down below, likes, dislikes, and do consider subscribing to the channel. It does really help, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.